dun 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 I just finished my workout and finished a smoothie. I go to, I grab this right after the workout when I do this specific one. It's called Beaming. Mm, I get the California uh, smoothie with honey in it. I look like a bald head, honestly. Uh, this is like a skin update. I have no actually skincare product on. I just like woke up and went. In case you guys are wondering on the update, I've I just have been using the retinol from my dermatologist and this other like uh, capsule you do with witch hazel. I have gotten two facials. I have another one next week. And yeah, just an update. I'm very honest about the skin. I'm not, I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm showing you the updates as I do everything. I just have like a little bit of a breakout here. But other than that, I feel like it's doing pretty well. Um, I got a puppy. I'm sure you guys already saw him. On Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, honestly, I don't know what you're doing because I pretty much vlog on there every day as well. It's just bbbunny 97 yt I put it down below. But she is a teacup hummery, and right now she's only 1.4 pounds, so she's tiny, tiny. And I will show you her today. I'm so excited to show you guys her. <laughs> she's so sweet, and I know you guys are all like, I'm. You know, everyone on Instagram was like, I'm waiting for the vlog. I'm waiting for the vlog. So I will show you guys her today. I have a lot of stuff to get done today. I mean, her have to run an errand, and yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys. I'm so excited to hear about your puppies and any tips you have, any potty training things you have. I'll chat about that later. But let's go take a shower. Hour and let's go get ready for the day. My top is from Fabletics and my leggings are Lululemon. I talk about Fabletics a lot and it's not just like something that's just like a random sponsorship or anything like that. I genuinely wear Fabletics almost every single day. This is, they don't even know making this video at all, like right now at all. So, um, and so that's why, uh, I always share their code and stuff like that and I've worked with them on Instagram stories because I literally am wearing it every day myself like not because I, I need to even when I don't post it uh, I just love their stuff this burgundy top I showed on stories and I always have links for Fabletics and just fab for you guys if you ever want to get money off and I'll put them in the description for you to guys just to have you have no obligation to use them um, at all and so but if you want to get a discount you're always welcome to Anyway, let's head on in. My fuzzy coat is from Zara, by the way. I got a lot of questions on this little puffy puff. I think they're having a sale right now. I, hopefully when this up is, is up, they'll still be having it. So if you've been wanting it, maybe check yeah. that out. And time to go potty. Let's go potty. Potty. Come on. Potty. Come on. No, no, no. Come back. So these are her pee pads. And you, she's actually... I would know she has a really small bladder. So she'll basically need to pee like every... I don't know, th around two, three hours, and she naps every, like, other hour. She'll play for an hour, nap two hours, play for an hour, nap two hours, pretty much. But you kind of have to, what I've learned so far, if you have any other tips, she, this is, like, the room she associates with going to the bathroom, so if anything, she'll even go to the bathroom off the pads, which, obviously, we tell her, like, no, and you kind of have to yell at them to make sure they understand. We'll show her the poop and yell, and she'll tell her no. And then when she does go on the pad, give her, we have her, like, a training treat. Kind of just, I almost have to sit near, near her, and what, as she walks away, I have to bring her here. Like, she'll sometimes go to the side right here and start, like, trying to pee. Like, I can see her open her legs, and so I'll grab her, put her here, and then she'll pee. But she's gone on the pad maybe 70% of the time, other 30, she just doesn't maybe because I didn't like watch and she she doesn't want to do it in front of you I've noticed like she'll want to pee or poo without you watching <laughs> she's just playing with her toy she shouldn't be biting but sometimes I'll like pl play play with her like this I don't pull hard obviously at all she's so so little like can we, can we lay down I want to just go like this so you can see the size like this is my hand she's literally like the size of my hand Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's a girl, by the way. And her name is Mia. And she'll get bigger for sure. Uh, she just, first of all, is really, really young right now. And... Uh, hey, 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 hey. And obviously she's a teacup, so she'll be small. But she is just super, super small. She's a baby right now. Oh. 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 
But if you guys have any, any other training tips, it's it's just weird that we've noticed that she doesn't want it her to be seen. Like we could we could be in this room and she'll like go run away in the corner like really quick, like 30 seconds, run away and go pee really quickly and then run back and then like obviously I'll go see it and then tell her no and yell at her. But it's just crazy that I don't. I've never seen a dog that was weird about going in front of somebody, and so every time I she like open her legs, I'll pick her up and I'll immediately put her on the pad, and then she'll pee or poo or whatever she was going to do. Like if she starts doing it elsewhere, um, but I want to get to the point where like she can associate coming into here when she needs to go to the bathroom. She, she can't be outside right now, uh, like walking on the ground because she doesn't have all her rounds of shots. She has. She's getting her second round next week and then third round in however many weeks. It's, a, it's after that, so that's why she, she can't be, like, walking on the ground with her paws. Um, so I know a lot of people still will walk them after just one round, especially after two. But I think we're going to be careful and wait to walk her walker until, after, until her third round because she is just so little and her immune system is a lot weaker. And I don't want, you know, her, like, running up to other dogs who may have, I don't know, don't, you don't even know what. And obviously we'll wipe down her paws when she does end up going for walks. Uh, still, I do want her to like be. I was reading that they need to be socialized and to not be scared of people. So sometimes, if I you know we walk to grab coffee or something, I'll, I'll hold her and we don't let anyone pet her or anything like that. Obviously, because you don't know where their hands are, and we'll say like, oh, she doesn't have her shots, so she can't be um, pet. But I feel like it's just good for her to not be scared of other people and not to. She doesn't really bark. She like almost yelps. If anything, we, have, we do have to put her in her crate in the evening. Otherwise, because if we try to. Cause she screams in the crate the entire night like all night she'll yelp like for, you think she'll get tired she does not get tired she screams the entire night and then she pooed in the bed last night so then now we have to keep her in the crate but she screams in the crate the entire evening um but basically we're trying to keep her in the crate and then when she cries at night in the crate to go to the, ideally she'd be quiet and then she'd cry when she needs to go to the bathroom and i could wake up and then bring her in here because the night before that, when she slept in the bed, I could, I would, I was sleeping pretty lightly, so I would, I would uh, wake up whenever she'd be, because she'd basically be sleeping really cozy, and then I'd notice she'd get restless. She started walking around. I knew that's when she had to go to the bathroom because she's so small she can't jump off the bed. So I would break, wake up, bring her in here, and then she'd go to the bathroom. I don't know two, three times a night. But last night I guess I was sleeping really deeply, and so if she was walking around, I didn't hear it or you know feel it, and that's why she went. And so I don't know what would be best for her for the night time because if she's just screaming all night in her crate I'm not going to know when she needs to go to the bathroom and um hey and then I don't want her to you know pee or poo in her crate because it's like her home it's where her food is and everything like that so I'm just trying to figure out what would be best for Nugget I guess I'll right now I'm thinking keep her in the crate and then set like an alarm for every two three hours for me to wake up and then to take her in here so she can pee or poo or whatever and there are pee pads in different rooms too, obviously, but for some reason she only has been really going on the ones in this room. I think she's just associated maybe this room with with it, with peeing or pooping. She's but also she just have she's been very like said chew. She has her chew toy and she really likes her chew toy. It's like a rubbery star with like a thick rope and she'll run around with it. Also for updates for her and Coco. Her and Coco in the beginning first so today is what, Wednesday? I got her on Saturday, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, too. It basically took four days for them to get along. At first, at first, Coco didn't really know what, what was going on. She just confused. She almost ignored her. Then she would start to hiss at her because Mia's really playful, so Mia will run up to her Coco. Like, she'll, you know when dogs, like, kind of, like, prance with their two front paws? That's what she would do. She'd run after Coco, and Coco would hiss at her, like, every day. And finally, yesterday slash today, they became friends, and they play with each other now. Like, Coco will chase her around the place, and then Mia will chase Coco around the place, usually in the morning for, like, an hour. And then both are really tired. Coco will be panting, and then Mia will probably take a nap after. So it's really fun because they're friends now, and so that's what I was hoping would happen, and that they can kind of play with each other. Because sometimes I get tired of, you know, come back. Mia. She also comes with you. Mia, come here. Come here. Mia. Um... I, I wanted them to be able to be friends and, and to be able to play because I can't, I can't play with like the a to with Coco's like jumpy toy for an hour and this way they both can run around, get exercise, and they play and it's so funny. Like <laughs> she'll even like play growl with Coco sometimes if they're if that's if they're playing like close to each other. They're kind of just like running back and forth like short distance. She'll like do this like little play growl. 
but she's really energetic super energetic but then she takes like a nap right after she's the same color as like my jacket but yeah if you want to see more of her i post a ton of stuff with her on my instagram but i'll be sharing stuff with her with obviously with her throughout the vlog and you guys will will now see her okie dokie so as you can see i got ready put on makeup and put on clothes and basically a little like mia update so this dog is kind of centered around i guess you could say introducing her because there's so much to say and i'm excited to talk about everything and i'm excited to hear your input but the issue is so she has pee pads we put them in actually in every room but she usually likes the only one, the specific room where she goes which is good because i want her to associate with going but the issue is she's so she basically plays for an hour plus hour and a half naps for an hour to two hours plays really like riled up an hour an hour and a half then naps it's kind of her cycle and i've noticed that about an hour she, we feed her at breakfast lunch and dinner and an hour after she eats is when she needs to go to the bathroom but the issue is for me for me to make sure that she doesn't go anywhere, I basically have to watch her non-stop. And she's running from one room to another room, and from one room to another room. And now her and Coco are actually friends, and they play together, which I was saying I was so appreciative of, because I was kind of, I was worried about how long it would take, or if they would even be friends. I was hoping that they would be friends. Okay, I shouldn't have gone straight, there's more traffic, but. Um, but that they, also she's not uh, home alone. Brendan's watching her, so I don't want people to think I'm just like leaving her by herself. Um, but basically, I need to watch her nonstop to make sure that she doesn't pee or poo anywhere, which it's really difficult because sometimes I'm trying to do work, I'm trying to edit a video, I'm trying to film, you know what I mean? It's hard for me to watch, like, keep, like, literally walk from room to room to room. So the easy thing for me to do is to, so I have, like, a robe. You guys have seen that pottery barn robe, and I wrap, I wrap it. I post it on Instagram, so when I keep her in the center, and she sits there very calmly, she, like, loves it. And then when she whimpers, she'll go, like, mm, mm, mm. that's when I know she needs to go to the bathroom. And then we will try to go in the potty pad. It's a little bit of an off, off and on procedure. Like sometimes I sit with her for 30 minutes and she still won't go and then I'll look away for one second and she'll sprint and go pee really quick. I Obviously I say, I yell at her, I say no. I put, I like bring her to the poop as I've read online. Um, also different types of dogs are trained differently. So keep in mind she's a Pomeranian. So some of the training is different than if you, it was a different type of dog. But yeah, so the issue is like, I need to make sure I have a kind of like a really close eye on her at all times. Either if I'm, like, I'll, sometimes I'll try to keep her in one area, like, I'll close the other doors, and then and if I'm working in the living room, I can still kind of, like, watch her. Not so close that I wouldn't be able to see every second, but pretty closely. And then I'll keep her in my robe. I also ordered a satchel, like a sash, for her so that I could basically carry her around. I'm doing stuff around the house. And then I could also, if it, when I bring her out while I, um, while I drive, so she, yesterday I just tried to see how she would be if I put her in the car. She's just very energetic, like it depends on what mood she's in. I told you she like runs, plays the naps, plays the naps, so she's kind of like in a playful mood. So I brought her in the car, she was really jumpy, she wanted to play, she was like jumping up and down. So it's like I couldn't really drive with her unless someone else was holding her. I did like a carrier, so I can put her in that. I was just seeing how she would be. But then if she's calm and sleepy, then she'll lay in your lap. Okay. I still what had my meeting called the supplier stuff. I actually have to go fix my phone right now. Look at this. You guys won't believe it. Like, my phone flew out of a convertible. And the, the entire front and back is cracked. I should probably just take off this case now. Like, look at this. Unbelievable. So I'm going to drop off my phone. And then I'm going to... I Most people probably just wait at the mall. I have lots of stuff to do i want to go home and i want to film and like another video for you guys i got some stuff from express that i've been wearing on instagram and everyone's asking me about it so i want to do a haul i also want to um chat about mia some more she's with me i brought her with come here come here i had to put her in the carrier just to be in the car because i didn't want her to jump around but now we're right about to go she's actually pretty calm right now so it's really nice i'm back <laughs> i need to hurry i got a new phone Basically, the, the, to, there was no option to repair it because the front screen and the back screen are cracked. I'm with Mimi. Come here. Mia. She was very good in, in, inside. She just gets so much attention. She gets a little bit overwhelmed because everyone wants to come say hi to her. And everyone stares at her. Everyone comes up to her and I have to be like, oh, you can't pet her because she doesn't have all her shots yet. But this phone right now is like loading and it's not continuing like to... Oh, we need to go home. She's really tired because she's just, it took like an hour and a half. I thought that was going to take a lot quicker. This is Mimi. I was, oh, me, I keep calling her Mimi. Her name is Mia. If you guys want to see up close, 
to sell her high. She'll be on the channel for a very long, long, long time. But I, I think I was talking about the size. This is her size. She's very small. Honestly, right now she's over it. She really wants to go home. I can tell. So I'm just gonna put. I'm gonna put her in her carrier. Come on. I, she doesn't like being in there. I need you to go in. I need you to go in. Really quick. Really quick. Really quick. Just for a little. It's really hot in this puffer, honestly. It's a bit dramatic of me to wear. I'm kind of worried right now about my phone because it's basically my... Obviously, I, I went to go prepare because it's front screen and back screen were cracked. I couldn't do anything on it. Like, I couldn't... I could only unlock it. I couldn't text on it. I couldn't do anything on it. Like, nothing. Like, it didn't work, basically. I could post, like, if I really, really, really tried. It would, like, lag and... Go to, it looks like it would do its stuff on its own. But right now, it's it's like it's like this doing this. It's like not letting me hit anything. Oh, thank gosh, it started loading. It's in Chinese. Why is it in Chinese? I don't even know how to exit out of here, you guys. Okay, I know where I am now. Okay, thank God. Okay, guys, this is one of her toys. This is her chew toy. Okay, well now that I gave her attention, she's like, okay, I'm gonna run away. But it's this like chew toy. She flipped over the rug, but basically it's like a rubber star with this kind of thick rope. I don't know, she likes to, as you see, come here, Mimi, Mia, come here. She likes the rope, usually, pull, pull, she's been pulling on the rope. She, her mouth is too small to chew, like, these big stars, maybe she, as she gets bigger, she'll be able to chew. I got this off of Amazon, I'll link it down below if you have a dog or a puppy, but she likes the the like tassels part of it and she'll ru like run around with it in her mouth like this like she'll like run around the whole entire house it's so precious i'm finally cooking right now i haven't eaten all day I, it happens to me so much like i'll just be busy doing one thing and another and then i won't eat and then i out of nowhere i'll be like so faint and then i'm like i need to eat something why am i doing this to myself oh stop it can you stand up like that again can you stand up up stand can you stand up can you sit and then there, and there's Coco, and they chase each other around. Right now she's energized again. She was really tired at the mall because we were waiting, so she was just laying down. She took a nap, and now we're back, and she's feeling frisky. And then she's this other toy, which used to be Coco's toy. She's, Coco just doesn't play that as much. I don't think this doesn't squeak. No. Oh, you see, it's in her mouth again. This one, this one doesn't squeak, and it's crazy because she'll carry it. But she's so small, you guys, that when she carries this toy, it's the funniest thing. Because okay, imagine her carrying this toy. Like, like look at her size, and look at the size of the toy. Like they're basically the same pick size. Up, show them. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Show them. Pick it up. Yeah, pick it up. Look at that. <laughs> pick it up. And she'll run with it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> guys, is that the funniest thing you've ever seen, you guys? It's called, it's also on Amazon. They have like, it's called Chewy Vuitton. They have like um, a Starbucks cup and like other kind of really cute ones. If you have a dog and you're into that kind of cute toy, you might like it. <sighs> she loves, loves this toy. I'll pull it. Come on. Give me, give mommy, give mommy. No, you're gonna take it, you're gonna take it, you're gonna take it, you're gonna take it, no toy for mommy. Oh my gosh, she fell over. Okay, I don't know why guys, but this she's, this toy is like her thing. Like she loves it. Like, do, do you, I hope you guys are seeing this. She's like obsessed with it. She'll bring it around. She'll okay. carry it by the handle around the house, like that. And it's just the funniest thing ever. It's like her, their little shopping bag. If you have any other toy recommendations that you think she'll like, let me know. I'm not sure like other if she wants other stuffed animals or things like that or chew toys or what to get her. Because right now she's pretty entertained by everything to be honest. Even just like playing with me. Like if, if I get put my both hands down and then <laughs> hey, and then we can play with our paws like this. Also, so I love going like the flipping her over. I, I do it very softly, obviously, but yee. Also, my mom is having a sale on her crystal bracelets this week also with code HOLIDAY18, 15% uh, off too, which is amazing. I'm wearing my two favorites on my left. The, my, this is what I've been wearing the past probably few weeks. This is the high quality sunstone. It's life-changing blue lace agate with highlights. So sunstone is just for like zest for life. It gives you energy, passion, motivation. It makes like... You know when it's your birthday and just like everything's amazing, like you just go for a walk and you like love your walk, you like get coffee, for some reason getting the coffee was like such a delightful experience even though every other day it's normal. It gives you that zest, like it just like makes everything so like 
like you're in rose colored glasses but temporarily <laughs> and you're not like delusional I guess I don't know it just gives you this like excitement like you like wake up and you're excited to make your you make your little coffee and it just gives you that extra boost which I think is really good for the new year then uh highlight blue is agate it's just really calming and I really like that I feel like and Blue's Agate helps you communicate. I'm always talking whether I'm filming or I'm, just like, I'm talking nonstop whether I'm on Instagram stories. And so honestly, <clears throat> I'm pretty energetic. So sometimes I like to have a little bit more calm energy to me. I could probably wear like a peach moonstone or something else that's calming and more of a divine feminine. That would be cool to wear and to find my peach moonstone. Hey, hey, hey. And, with, and then it has a blue lace agate, like I said, and then a little gem. And on my right, I wear uh, rose quartz and then rhodochrosite. This is the rose quartz aqua aura quartz like the clear one but obviously regular rose quartz is like a staple i feel like if you're a beginner that's what you need all the bracelets have a description of what they're for on the website so i don't need to go through everything but i just like to give you a quick synopsis my sweater i'm wearing right now is from wild fox if i still have it i'll link it down below just with some nike pants i actually got my period today it's tmi i got it actually in my workout class it's crazy because i felt it i had to like stop and then i was like oh maybe it's just cramps and i worked out through it I am cooking dinner, going to wind down. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys love me. If you have any tips for dogs, suggestions, links, leave them down below or message me on Instagram. I love you guys so much. Remember, I upload on Thursday and Sunday, so if you want to see my videos, I'm sure I'd love to have you guys back on here. Just click subscribe and click the notification to make sure that you actually do see them. There's not really subscription boxes anymore, so even if you subscribe, you might not, not see my video, so just click the bell and be sure to watch consistently. That way YouTube will make sure that you see my video. When you're watching someone consistently, it puts them, when you log on, you'll just see their video. And so if you want to make sure you see my video, just be sure to watch them consistently. And if you enjoy, I'm so, so appreciative. I love you guys. Mia loves you guys. If you want to see more content, like I said, I'm always on Instagram and I will see you so soon. I love you guys. Bye.